Trey's here. We brought whiskey for you, Trey. All right. You give me the go. We're good? We're live? All right, we're live. Just so you didn't think you were. Everyone is live. That's a, oh, I do need to clap. Where's my damn... No, wait there. <laughs> I'll tell you when it's time. <laughs> Did I tell about the guns? I told about the guns. Oh, my God. Johnny Neal came. Uh, we're rolling live. Here we are in the Outlaw Gospel Music Sanctuary. Jamie Hibby Jacks. Here we are. Saturday night, October 28th, a non-ticketed event. We're collecting uh, food and toiletries and Christmas toys and, as I've been saying so very importantly, children's co winter coats, new and like new children's winter coats. And if indeed you're watching this at home and you feel, are you feeling magnam magnanimous? <laughs> Is that right? Magnanimous. That's four syllables, Johnny. <laughs> You can go to the support button on uh, the Jamin and Hippie Jacks website and you can, uh, you can send us the money and we promise we won't use it for anything nefarious. There's another one, huh? Yeah. Let me see if we can make this go where everybody can almost see it. We're rolling. Action. So, I've been working on... John Prine's wife. <laughs> As I should. And would, regardless. <laughs> and um, John Prine does, a, every year he does, a, for the, the Thistle Group, the, 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 there's a group in Nashville that, that helps rehabilitate um, prostitutes and people off the street. And he works with Thistle Farms. Great organization, wonderful organization, and uh, and I've been talking to his one of his managers. I'm sure she, he has several, and her name is Cioban, which proves she's probably Canadian. There's nobody in the United States cool enough to be called Cioban. <laughs> and his wife said to me, he said, "Bill Alexander's here." He didn't say that. Hey, Bill. <laughs> About damn time. She's. My hero, Bill Alexander. <laughs> Thank God you're here. I'm not the oldest person here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, see ya. Yeah. Yeah, your women are safe with me. Um, well, safer than me with Johnny. Johnny, Johnny always needs a woman to help him around. When there's no women around, he knows where to go. But if <laughs> there's a woman around that he can, like, Help me, baby, help me. I can't find the porch. Where's the gun? <laughs> and she sent some merch. She said, we want to support you guys, and we want to stay in touch. So they sent some CDs. They sent the In Spite of Yourself CD. Yeah. They sent, uh, help me out here, Broken Hearts and Dirty Windows. John Prine, fair and square. Ooh, this one looks good. John Prine with Mac Weissman, standard songs for average people. 
And I love this one. Here's the souvenir CD right here. So if anybody wants to contribute to us and purchase a John Prime CD, I have four of them. I will take, what are they worth? Are they worth 20, Johnny? Easy. Easy? All right. I would take 20 each for them, but tonight and tonight only, four for 80. So it's a <laughs> special deal. Just to show you my heart's in the right place. Um, this is a 100% cotton. Well, I would be disappointed if it was anything else. Adult medium? This is a girl shirt. <laughs> I couldn't get that on one arm. But 20 for that as well. So four CDs and a shirt, 100 bucks. That's a good deal, right? I'll leave these on the table in the back. Um, you, if you want one, grab it and give me the money or give it to Mississippi. If you steal it, the karma gods would get you. We don't care. We're not worried here. We're not worried. And then later on, I've got Charlie Musselwhite stuff. Charlie Musselwhite. I don't know if you all know Charlie. Tommy John knows who Charlie Musselwhite is. Yeah, Johnny does. I'm trying to get him to come play. He may come play. Uh, 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 and then uh, I, I have an announcement or two of the bands we're working on uh, for, uh, for May already. It's typically, as always, spending money I don't got. Uh, Y'all know Ray Wiley Hubbard? Yeah. yeah. Ray's going to close for us Saturday night, God willing, and we can find two uh, Fender Deluxe amps. If anybody's got a Fender Deluxe amp or two that we can use that weekend. Hey, you got one? Luton's got one. We got, well, I need one more. I'll root up. And uh, you got one, Johnny? Okay. I guess you better bring it. I guess Johnny's going to open for us Sunday. Right? Yeah. Maybe, yeah. One of the greatest shows I've ever seen here. I said, Johnny, I said, I want you to play Sunday. He said, great, and stay for Outlaw Gospel. He says, what time you want me to play? And I said, first. And there was a long silence on that. <laughs> and uh, I tell you, it was. we've been opening with a bang. For the last few years, we've been trying to open our, our May shows, our festival shows, without, so, without sleepy music. And we're not having any sleepy music this year, so uh, we're hoping we can work that out, Johnny. I think there's some hope for that in there. Yeah, all right, he's in. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be great. It seriously it was one of the best concerts we've ever had here. Was that set of music? Um, something else going on. Stonehouse Winery. I don't even have a bottle. Has anybody got a bottle of Stonehouse wine I can hold up? There it is. Let me hold it up to the cameras because they pay me to do this. We love them. Ooh. What kind is this? Muscadine. Yeah. Muscadine. Stonehouse Winery. I don't know if you ever heard my radio show. Located in Crossville, Tennessee, exit 320, just off Interstate 40. A lovely tasting room, an incredible retail environment. Stonehouse Winery, that's S-T-O-N-E-H-A-U-S. W-I-N-E-R-Y dot com, a great supporter and now a presenter of Americana Roots Music. We got to get you down there, Johnny. They're playing music now, and they play music in their, in their barrel room where they keep their wine. I do, too. I'd come for you. I'd come down there for you. Somebody would have to drive us home. You stay with me that night. So Stonehouse Winery, we love them. Uh, uh, they've been with us forever. They're very good supporters, and we wouldn't be here without them, much like Cooper Recycling and RL and all the good folks that have helped us out. I also want to mention uh, the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. Uh, they've been uh, with us for quite a while now. That is the group that oversees national public radio and PBS. And uh, when midterms come, keep it in mind, we need to keep uh, uh, that is so important if for nothing else. Uh, it is the only TV and the only early education that our little kid friends on the mountain get. Most of them don't have satellites or cable or anything like that. They have outside antennas, and they get like five stations, and four of them are PBS, and one of them plays Jerry Springer reruns out of Knoxville. <laughs> and, and one of the beauties of it, and one of the many things that PBS does that nobody knows about is that they create 
a matching curriculum for Head Start programs. And Head Start programs are typically underprivileged or marginalized children often that don't have advantages of other preschool opportunities. And, uh, and PBS makes a matching, uh, 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 what's it called when it's, somebody help me here. Yeah, it is like that, but, but w it, what's it called it's, it, when it's an educational package? Ma matching. Obviously, none of you went to school. <laughs> <laughs> Curriculum. Thank you. Curriculum. So that when the kids go home from Head Start and they turn on PBS, uh, they go over the curriculum. One, two, three. That's four. <laughs> curriculum, yeah. That's a lot. And, th and again, they get to go over it, and, you know, it's an advantage. And for people that don't have all the advantages, it's an advantage we don't need to lose. And so when the time comes to talk to your your congressman or your senator or whoever it is that's running this stuff, and I think we're good. As far as I know, we're good till after the first of the year anyway. It, how very important it is to keep PBS uh, on for that and for many other reasons. What else? I'm bored. You ready to play? <laughs> Shit, Johnny. You've never been bored. Johnny's bored. Who's going to bring him up? Is it up to me? I need somebody. To, do we have a volunteer? It's all me. And here, Melissa's going to bring him up. I'm I'm gonna stay up here with you. You're gonna have to slip past me. Yeah, say something. How long have you known Melissa, Johnny? Two years. Two years. Is she? Where's she from? Delaware. Delaware. Yeah, I knew that. I did. That's where George Thurgood's from. Now, is that not right? Should I not have said that? <laughs> hey, Bo Diddley. See? Man, what? The mic's going to keep back. I don't, well. You want me? No, keep taking it. He's with you, baby. That's why you get union wages. He goes, can you find your way? I said, no. No, no, I said, can he get you the rest of it? I know what you said. I got to lie a little bit. Nuh-uh. Oh, I got a story about lying. I saw a guy on the news the other day, and the newscaster asked him, he said, she said, you think Donald Trump lies? <laughs> he goes, well, he speaks in hyperbole. <laughs> hyperbole. Hyperbole is when you say the fish you caught that was four pounds weighed 12 pounds. <laughs> That's hyperbole. Lines when you say shit. I didn't say shit. <laughs> Shit. That's lying. I don't know nothing. We're not going to get political here, are we, Johnny? Uh, Maybe a no. little. No? If I get too wound up, I'm going to start saying stuff. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Malcolm was here one night, and I thought we were all going to jail. You remember that? That was when George Bush was president. People were going. That was crazy. He's calmed down some since then. Yeah. How you feel, Johnny? Exquisite. Exquisite. Do you have everything you need? Uh, almost. No, I'm good. You good? Yeah, I got to figure out where to put my beer. Now, this thing, if, if I'm in, I need a table. Or a, oh, shit. I'm, joking, I'm not getting deeper on you. You want me to just hold it for you? Yeah, you got to. I got it. <laughs> Where can we put? Ah, here we go. Ricky's got a table. You put it out there. Look at that. Come. It will come to you. I didn't say come to you. Uh, oh, you want that back? <laughs> How'd you get a whole bottle? You must know somebody. She knows somebody that knows somebody. You had enough of me yet? I mean, I'll stay. <laughs> 
You want me to stay? I'll stay, but this the show will suck. I think you need to get me off the stage. Get him off the stage. Get him off. It I'm is gonna have a heavy jack. Yeah, on, heavy man. jack. He's a comedian in his own right. I did one more thing when I told Tommy John, Johnny, Johnny was coming, Tommy goes, All right. And Tommy's a great performer in his own right, but when people hear that Johnny Neal's coming, everybody gets happy for a variety of big yeah. reasons. So give it up, 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 Johnny Neal. Hey, hey. Uh, I already broke my promise. Turn that piano up some, because I, uh, I lied and said I wouldn't. A little bit more. Oh, that, I tell you, this place feels good. You know, I mean, I'm serious. Y'all come out to hit me jacks all the time. And it's just always cool, you know. And uh, I just really have a good time that he invited me, and I appreciate it. It's an honor. And if I forget any lyrics, I never told you such a thing. I got up here one night. Of, I actually had a, a, a. Oh, that's not it. Mm. Right, so anyway, is it got a little more on that song. Anyway, I'm not gonna be too mellow all the time, but there's certain things you have to play that uh, I heard this song, and I'm not gonna tell you what it is, because but it's it's cool. And uh, I loved it when I heard it. And check it out. I've been throwing horseshoes over my left shoulder. And I've been spinning. Searching for that holy world, you were right there with me, chasing all my rainbows. You say, honey, I love you too. That's the way love goes. That's the way love goes, babe. That's our music that God made for all the world to sing. Never goes old, it just grows and grows and moves and makes me sorry. And you say, honey, don't worry. Oh, honey, I will be too.
First thing that comes to mind is I should have closed with that one. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, I thought my t my phone was talking in my pocket. So anyway, this uh, no, I I never know what to do when I get up here. So, but this uh, just something popped into mind. That's what you do. You, you know. So I like Levon Helm. You know what I mean? Like, I like the whole. The whole part, the the, the donkey bass drum, poof, poof. so I just wrote a song called the uh, Right Out the Old Window, which came from a story where I was in the post office with a, a fifteen hundred dollar check. Walked out with a hundred dollars. Where did that go? Got mad. I wrote this, but it's dedicated to the band uh, and leave on him. You know what I'm saying? So it's cool. Now, I don't know. You don't know the words anyway, so I'm going to have a good time with this one. Anyway, so that right. was. So she begins going there. I heard her clap on the down beat. She keeps saying, Thump, thump, and the Beatles, who beat up that bay. Yeah, thump, 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 thump,
Pedal. Here's the funny thing about piano pedals. They can have all the rubber and neon and bleon and whatever, the, but they still move. Now, I can blame it on the pedal or blame it on my big foot. Anyway, that's enough of that. Uh, shame, I don't want to do too many slow songs, but I got this thing that I came up with. No, I mean, it's a song by Hank Williams. So I want to show you what interpretation means. Have you a whip of will right here? And sounds to blue to fly. That midnight train is rolling low. I'm so lonesome. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. Have you ever heard of little will? Sounds to blue the fly. That midnight train is rumbling low. I'm so lonesome, I could cry. I'm 
Man, I mean, that was, that was it. I fell on that one. I fell on that one. Y'all having a good time? Because I'm having a ball. I see, I'm good at voices. I heard half you people out there around the fire. I heard Jamie and Carl and Hibbity Hibbity. Well, they had to tell me who they were, but I knew who they were. I'm going to do one more, and then I'm going to bring a friend of mine up who I met, and she's from Delaware, and I, I, uh, but anyway, we'll get to that when I introduce her. I'm getting blowing the wise here. You know? So what do you think? Uh, see, I'm trying to make shit up. Put one or two playing in. We're hanging up here yet. All right. Let's see. Yeah. So anyway, I got this thing, like Leon Russell. Let me just step down. If Jack could tell 15 stories in like 85 minutes, uh, yeah, I was going to tell that. Anyway, so Leon Russell was my, well, my first like year when I heard this like, you know, I, I said, oh, shit, I think there's something in there. I'm going to tell you. Yeah. Then, uh, then you got with Joe Cocker and stuff. <coughs> I think I need to drink beer because I'm getting scratchy. Is that, is that, is, does that hold up in the excuse box? Nah, hey, I got it. <laughs> he said, he's scratchy all the time. I said, well, I don't know you, baby. <laughs> See, I know that guy. <clears throat> anyway, so Leon, I mean, I'm not going to dwell on it, but Leon was cool to me, man. He just was a, a there's no piano players. Like there was back when uh, Billy Joel and Leon and Herbie Hancock. And now it's all guitars. Well, I'm cool. I figure when uh, when the Blue Mother Two Blue gets up, I'm gonna kick back a little bit and play chords. But uh, but anyway, uh, the whole style, like like that whole thing, you know what I mean? <laughs> Hey 
Well, you know, it's really good that you guys are listening because I heard people talking at the park. Now, uh, I got a friend I'm about to bring up and introduce y'all people because you're part of my big family. Yeah. And uh, when we, we were, uh, she's, I did, I had the honor of producing uh, her CD, one of her CDs, and she's really excellent. And um, we're going to do a little Stevie Winwood. And I hope you enjoy it. No, I'm going to. What the hell with y'all? <laughs> Wait, I got to find a piano. No. Anyway, here we go. <laughs> How about my oh, She's not ready. I ain't starting. I ain't starting yet. It's, if you count me in. <laughs> Again. Um, Melissa Lacey, y'all, if you don't mind. You don't mind. <laughs>
Come down off your throne Leave your body alone Somebody must change You are the reason I've been waiting so long Somebody holds the key This guy, love you. Thank you, guys. Hey, <laughs> sorry about the chord changes, I made. Sorry about I get blue mother two blows and up here. Then we we're gonna make some shit up. No, I can't say shit on TV. How about the, we're gonna make some nice shit. Right, anyway, so anyway, here we are. Now I'm gonna say the key of E. That's all. Now, that's Ricky over there, man. Yeah. Yeah. Where's my... See, the girl. See, she got two boys today. She messed a blind man up. Michael? Come on up here, girl. You're going to figure it out. Hey, get up off that thing. What? Right. Yeah, I do. Not do. Hey, G. I just had a thing pop in my head. Oh, wait, I got to find a better sound. Oh, she's up here. Oh, that's good. So anyway, I just had a thought. Well, actually, yeah, see, he hears that. How about that hand for he hears that? <laughs> What I'm doing, I think, is learning my way around the world. So, I had a thing that just popped into my head, and it's called the pleasure's mind. So, if we just went, where's the tambourine? Mama's head. <laughs>
Give you a bunch of coins I know I 